I think right now we just don't have elected officials who are all that accountable to the voters. I mean, the whole idea of democracy is that you're getting the voice of the people in those halls of power through the representative, but so few of our elections are competitive anymore. Sally Hudson is an assistant professor of public policy, education, and economics at UVA, who is running for delegate of the 57th district. The position, which has been held by David Toscano for over a decade, will be open following his retirement at the end of the year. I think I combined two really important qualities that you need in a public servant. One is the technical know-how of policy. I'm an economist, I understand the nuts and bolts of bureaucracy, and at the end of the day, you do have to write laws that work, that deliver results, and prove you to be a good steward of public support. Um, but I also didn't come up out of that world. I, I'm not a wonk by, um, by birth by any stretch. I kind of grew up in grassroots organizing, in community organizing, where you're trying to bring people together and make sure you're really representing their views and getting all those voices in the mix. It, there's sort of a feedback loop between how we vote and who runs. So there are lots of things that we can be doing to in, promote competitive elections. There are easy things like automatic registration of voters, which will get more people into the mix. Things like early voting and vote by mail. I've also been a very strong advocate for ranked choice voting, which is a concrete reform that we can pursue, which again encourages competitive elections from diverse candidates. The beauty of ranked choice voting is that it means that lots of candidates can run, so we get diverse voices in the mix, but we still get a winner who has majority support. It's like the best of both worlds. Are there any sort of specific economic reforms that you think need to be like sort of sort of top of the list need to be passed? For starters, I think we need to be doing a better job of reinvigorating our workforce. So part of that means raising the minimum wage so that even our, our lowest paid workers um, have the means that they need to have a, a prosperous life. Um, but in addition, we need to be shoring up our public education system at all levels. I, I do think we have to raise taxes here in Virginia. Right now, our top tax bracket kicks in around $18,000. So we charge millionaires and minimum wage earners the same tax rate on their, their top marginal bracket. Um, you cannot fund a progressive spending agenda without a progressive taxation agenda. The stakes of this election are really high. This seat has not been open for more than a decade. So it's been a long time since Charlottesville has really had a choice. And I think sometimes people, but students in particular, can sleep on state government and how important it is. I mean, right now with DC so dysfunctional, so much of the day-to-day -day things that actually affect your lives are really running out of Richmond. And so students should have a choice in who holds this seat.